Chapter 13 License to Sin To some people, the promise of everlasting life to one who receives Jesus as his personal Savior sounds like a license to sin. They reason that if we are sure that we already have everlasting life, then many will take advantage of this assurance and commit sin. Such people forget how wise God is. They also forget that a holy God will never encourage sin. When we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior, we do not only receive a promise of everlasting life. Galatians 2.20 tells us that Christ lives in us. In other words, when we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior, we not only receive a promise of everlasting life, but at the same time, we receive the presence of a Jesus in the person of the Holy Spirit in our life. 1 Corinthians 3.16 1 Corinthians 6.19 In other words, when we receive Jesus as our Savior, we not only receive Jesus as our Savior who paid for all our sins, but we also receive the Holy Spirit who helps us to overcome sin in our lives. We have not only received a passport to heaven, but also a partner to help us live our lives as children of God. The Holy Spirit will trouble our conscience when we sin. A person who has truly received Jesus as his Savior will have no peace in sin. He will only enjoy the pleasures of sin in his flesh, but will not have peace in his heart. It is like a person who has an allergy to a certain type of food that he likes. He will enjoy the taste of that food, but will also suffer the effects of the allergy. A person who has not received Jesus as his Savior will enjoy the pleasures of sin in his flesh and will not be really troubled in his heart, unless he is caught and embarrassed or affected by his sin. The presence of the Holy Spirit will also give us the strength to overcome our sin. A person who has not received Jesus as his Savior will not have the strength to overcome sin. Romans 7, 18-19 Before we are born again, we are like a crippled man who wants to run in a race but is unable to do so. Spiritually, we are all crippled by sin, ever since Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden. We, his descendants, have all inherited his sinfulness and our spiritual cripples. God's plan of salvation does not give us a license to sin. On the contrary, it gives us the strength to overcome sin. Blessed Holy Trinity Blessed God the Father, who loves us and gave us His only Son. Blessed God the Son, who sacrificed His life for us on the cross. Blessed God the Holy Spirit, who lives in our hearts to be our daily partner. Can any God other than the Holy Trinity ever do this amazing work of salvation? Have you adored the Holy Trinity?